The back of the chair has a lever that you push and it locks into place with a spring that keeps the back at a certain height. Well, the spring broke. I'll show you. It's a new spring. It's joined here and then it's also joined over here on the lever. But it's real difficult. No, it's, jo it's joined here and then here. It's difficult to get the end of the spring in there. So I'm going to try. Okay, on the end of the spring is a little uh, loop and I have to fit it through that hole. And under this lever there is not enough room to get from behind here through the hole. So I propose to use a piece of wire, cut it a length and twist it around through that hole so it can attach to that. I don't know if it'll work, but I'll try. I changed the angle of the chair because the light's on the desk and it's hard to see. I don't know if this will break. I probably could pull the whole thing off. It would be a lot easier, wouldn't it, Shirley? There are some plastic doohickeys on here, like that hold the car thing in. Let me try. Success! I <laughs> should have done this sooner. Okay. Now, the back of this seat, it rises. Come on, seat, do your thing. It goes up, and it comes down. And the spring is supposed to lock in place there. Hmm. Where did I just put the wire? Did I put it someplace or is it on the floor? I don't know. Oh, come on me. What happened to the wire? What did I do with it? It fell on the floor. <laughs> Sometimes things are hard to find. Okay, now a trick I'm going to try. I don't know if this is going to work. Probably not. I'm going to try to fish. Fish this. Come on, come through, come through. No, gotta bend it. Let me see. Okay, not such a strict bend. Okay, I'm going to nab this little hole. Come on. Come on, you. Okay, got it through the hole. Come on, you. Come through. Can I grab it from underneath? I don't know. Is it possible? Doesn't seem to be. Well, I don't think unscrewing these screws is going to do anything because the mechanism here is enclosed. So, I don't know. Let's see what happens. I can snag this booger in here. Hey, all right. I got something coming out here. All right. Come on, you. I know I'm going to get frustrated in a few minutes. I just know it. You're thinking, oh, it should just come through there. Yeah, it should. Okay. And cut that off. Put that on the desk so I know where it is. Okay. Oh, now I dropped the pliers. Good God. <laughs> You're saying, can anyone be that clumsy? Yes, you know me, don't you? 
You bet your bottom dollar. I'm just gonna. Oops. Nobody wants to hear oops. Trying to make this a tight loop. Now that I fed another type of wire through the opening, you're thinking, oh my god, this is taking forever. Yeah, it is. All right, my plan is to feed one of these pieces of wire further down in the spring. Hmm. That's going to be a tricky thing. Oh, well, there's a Will, there's a William. Ha ha ha. Thought I was going to say away, didn't ya? I can hear you at home. Some of you are shouting, do it this way, do it that way. No, no, dummy, do it that way. Okay, well, let's see. We'll try. I heard one of you out there say this, so I'm going to try this way. I'm going to try to stick it in the top of the spring and come out a few rings down. Well, I could do it there. That conceivably would work. We'll take the easy way out, we'll do it there. If it doesn't work, I can always fall back and do it the other way. Okay, now. This is how it's been. That's how it was designed. I don't think it's a very good design because it gets hung up here. And the last spring that broke, broke, where did it break? I don't remember which side it broke on. This is an older office chair I bought secondhand from an old office furniture store. They sell used office equipment. When offices get new stuff, they buy the old and sell it to people like me. This is a very expensive, ergonomically could correct chair, whatever, supposedly. And uh ay, ay, ay. ay. Will it hold the thing? It's supposed to pull back on the lever, which releases the ratchet inside here somewhere. Let me put this crap over here. Alrighty. And we raise the seat up. Come on, seat. Come on. Ouch. Ow. I'm always hurting myself. And now it caught. Good! Good! I think it's going to work. Yay! Hooray! I think it will work. I don't know if you caught any of that or all of it. It's kind of hard to see. Everything's dark. There's no bright lights in here. I have my whatever it is, halogen light on. I really need to get an LED light because they don't get hot like this booger does. He gets hot and stays hot for a long time. These chairs I don't know. I think originally they cost like 250 bucks or something. I got it for, what did I buy it for? $60? This was a few years ago. But you can, you know, you go in and you sit down in it, see if it feels good or not before you buy it. You can buy one or a slew of them. The arm on this, the rubber is splitting. I have tape wrapped around it, which is kind of a white trash way of fixing something. If I can find another left handle like this, I can unscrew it and put a new one on, or I don't know, do 
do make make a sleeve for it or something. I don't know. Anyway, hopefully this fixes the chair. I press the back back in. Now it's ready to stand her up. Yay! I think it works. It's all wobbly. This is an old beat up chair. Um, I try to be careful, but still it's older. Yay, we have chair. <laughs>